In 2009, Major League Baseball introduced the Honorary Batgirl Program. Its mission, to raise additional awareness and support for their Going to Bat Against Breast Cancer initiative that's held every year all throughout baseball on Mother's Day. In 2017, the New York Yankees Honorary Batgirl was Kristen Mindo from New Jersey. At 37 years old, Kristen has shown incredible strength and is a true inspiration to women everywhere. I actually felt a lump, and that's what started this whole journey. So, and then I went to the doctor, I got my mammogram, my ultrasounds, and when the radiologist was leaving, she was like, I'm pretty sure it's cancer. On December 28, 2016, just three days after Christmas, Kristen Mindo was told the words that nobody wants to hear. You have cancer. And not just cancer, but stage two breast cancer. From that day forward, the fight was on. Just the whole process started. I had to make doctor's appointments. I had to meet with a breast surgeon. I had to meet with a plastic surgeon. I had to meet with an oncologist. And it was just a whirlwind. And that was right after the new year. And every doctor I went to actually said, I can't believe you're doing this so quickly. And when the breast surgeon originally met with me, she was worried that it was an aggressive tumor, so she really wanted to make sure we treated it immediately. And she recommended chemotherapy first. The next couple of months would be the roughest for Kristen. On January 26th, she began chemo, and it started with intense sessions every other week. I wasn't myself. I was completely fatigued. I felt absolutely exhausted. There were days like, couldn't even get out of bed. So the first three, two months were really rough. And then into the third month, I ended up getting pneumonia. But I had to keep my spirits up because that is the biggest part of this whole journey is just staying positive. And then from there, now I'm receiving chemotherapy once a week. For the next, it's a total of 12 weeks. So I'm halfway done. Uh, so I have six more weeks. Um, and then I'll be done officially on June 22nd. But for this day, all of that was pushed aside. This was a day for a lifelong Yankees fan to live out a dream. As honorary Batgirl, the festivities began with Kristen and her family getting an up-close and personal experience during batting practice. I was nervous at first because I didn't really know like what to say, how to, do I say first names, last names, what do I say? And Joe was awesome. Hi, Joe. Cool. Joe just brought me right onto the field. He was like, at first I wasn't asking them to sign the ball. <laughs> so he goes, hey, Aaron, come over. Hey, so-and-so, come over. And then they once he did that for like two players, and I was like, all right, I got this. I took selfies with Judge and with Aaron Hicks, and I was like, little girl. I mean, well, even walking underneath, where I knew that like Derek Jeter had walked out on his last game, I was actually envisioning that as we were walking through, and then just walking into the field, onto the field, just in awe. The history, the players who have been here prior to this year, just knowing that they've been here in the dugout, on the field, playing out there, and then getting to know the players or talking to the players today, it's incredible absolutely dream come true. Kristen. Kristen Jacoby, nice pleasure to, to meet, meet you. you. This is an older bat and this is a newer bat, as you can see. So Thanks, I always Gary. like to bring the new bats out. Love it. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Good luck tonight. As the day continued, it kept getting sweeter. Before the first pitch, Kristen was honored at home plate and was joined on the field by her family and starting shortstop, Dee Dee Gregorius. Please welcome Kristen Mendo. Kristen's story of inspiration and strength embodies the message of hope behind going to bat against breast cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a warm Yankee Stadium ovation as we thank Kristen for all she's done. The burden of Kristen's fight has been lightened by her strong support system, a system that's been there every step of the way. What the ritual really has been is everybody offering to come to chemotherapy with me. That in itself, having one I've had up to four people in the room with me. Actually, I think maybe the most was six. And just having people say to me, I want to come to chemo with you and hang out with you and you know whatever we do in that hour, two hour period, I just want to be there for you. That's been the coolest ritual. I've gotten through it because of my positive attitude, but also the support of my family and my friends. And they have been tremendous, like absolutely amazing. I mean, I knew how much they cared for me before this, but what they've done for me over the last five months has just been incredible. And I thank them from the bottom of my heart, and I'm so grateful. We have actually 25 people here tonight supporting me, so that just goes to show just some of you know the amazing people in my life. You can see more Yankees on Demand and scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right here.